I'm good. I'm Nick. <laughs> Kelsey. Nice Kelsey, to meet you. nice to meet you. Eyes are still adjusting. Yeah. All right. What does my style say about me? Uh, it says you're very laid back. Uh, I feel like you can be an artist or something like that. But your hair is done pretty well. It's not like it's messy or anything like that. So. Yeah, you're you're put together. You're pretty put together. Thank you. But you, it says that you're said that you're an artist. I feel like yeah. Yeah, yeah that's interesting. Why? <laughs> wait, why? What? Like, is there something specific that like points you that way? Um, the colors. You're pretty just uh, solid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you. Mmm, <laughs> your sleeves are rolled up. Your shoes, they look like you've been, you know, around <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I noticed about you. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Oh, who do you think I am? <laughs> who do I think you are? I don't Ooh, know. That's a good question. I mean, just by... I kind of feel like, I don't know what it would be like what you would do but you feel like you're a people person it kind of seems like you like can talk to people pretty well or like you're I mean you're doing this so you're probably pretty comfortable with yourself mm. um who do I think you are that's like a very like wow <laughs> um <laughs> you seem very nice so far nothing that's been like you know aggressive or mean yeah, yeah. um Based on how you just kind of broke down my outfit, you seem to be pretty like, not analytical, but like you have a good sense of like, what is what. Okay. I, you know, I do dabble in the arts, so. I take that. <laughs> I was kind of right. <laughs> yeah, you were right. Um, yeah, does that? Yeah, I think that works. Does that, does that fit? Yeah, I'll take that. You'll take it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> take yeah, 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 I'll take it. Um, hmm, that's interesting. I was gonna ask you to yeah. answer that for me, but I, she kind of already did, you know? I feel like you already you kind of think I'm an artist. Yeah, I did. There's anything else you can add to that? Um, you seem like a, 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 a guy's guy. Is that okay to say, a guy's guy? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Like, um, you know, you just, uh, you're pretty cool. You have a lot of friends, it seems like. Uh, you know, there are people who are sometimes like really shy and reserved mm -hmm. and, or, you know, just don't seem to like to hang out or just have mm -hmm. a good time. And mm -hmm. you seem like a guy that likes to hang out and have a good time. Guy's guy. Yeah. 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 A guy's guy. All right. So what do you think I'm looking for? In what? Uh... I guess I can go anyway, but I guess in terms of this project, in terms of like a partner. Hmm. Uh, although you seem like a guy's guy, <laughs> you seem like, I don't want to say the word emotional because that can go either way, but <laughs> you're smart. You seem really smart to me, and what's the question? What, what do, you do you think, think I'm, I'm looking, looking for? for? You're looking for someone who can be as smart as you, uh, but also, you know, to teach you things as well. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, I see. I feel like you look like an equal for you instead mm -hmm. of you know someone who's not from the same, you know headspace or mindset that you are mm -hmm. for sure um that's what i think so far that's i mean that's only the second question it's only the second <laughs> question but still you know pretty you're like in the right area <laughs> that's good but uh wow 
All right. Oh. Way, Wait, I just did. Feel free to like, if you want, you can reveal about yourself. It's like a blind date. You're on a blind date. So if you okay. want, they say what they are. And actually, I'm more hmm. like, you feel free to, oh, okay. if you want to like, go there, you can. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, to kind of like, <laughs> I guess, give you like some answers for mm -hmm. once. Um, yeah, you know, I kind of like look for like, like a best friend, kind of. Someone who's kind of like a lot like me, mm -hmm. which is... Um, we can be weird sometimes, but yeah, yeah, it definitely makes things tricky sometimes. But yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, I I got that. <laughs> yeah, you did. Good job. Oh, well, what are you looking for in a relationship? Wait, that's so you're asking me what I'm looking for in a relationship. Maybe I have to tell you what I'm looking for in a relationship. Or, or yeah. Well, what I'm looking for is someone who... No, 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 you're asking. So when you get the question, you ask the other person. Mm -hmm. But you could throw it back and forth. Yeah. Oh, so what are you looking for in a relationship? Well, yeah, I kind of... Um, like I said, like a, like a best friend, like someone that I can hang out with. Um, it's kind of weird to say this. This is going to be really weird. Mm -hmm. But I'm kind of looking for someone that's like my brother in a way yeah which is weird to think that i want to date my brother uh -huh. but like we're like these weird we have this weird clique and it's like we're just our own little world and i kind of look for that yeah like somebody you can do secret handshakes with and stuff like you that can handshakes yeah, yeah. And you can i get that from beat you. each other up and just like <laughs> have fun and like my brother and i have this weird sense of humor that like no one really ever understands understands and so I think like that would be something really cool to have in a relationship and like have a best friend that like you understands know. you yeah. and that you have like a special relationship with, not just a, you know, mushy, lovey dovey. <laughs> mush yeah, yeah, no. You have to have your quirkiness and your mm. fun and your uh weirdness in there too, mm -hmm. for sure. I think that's that's what makes it comfortable. Yeah. That's what makes you comfortable with your partner is if, cool. you know, you can be weird together yeah. for sure. So do you think you're looking for that too? Or it seems like you're, um, you understand it? Yeah, I understand. I understand. I, I completely understand. I don't really have a lot of best friends. Mm. Um, and those who are my best friends are like really close to me. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to just date anyone. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, he would have to be like, a special guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a star. special guy. Yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> cool. Um, so that was you. So this one's me. So what are you fearful of in terms of relationship? What like scares you? Uh, definitely dishonesty. Hmm. And uh, yeah, that for mm -hmm. sure. Because I mean, if you can't trust if I can't trust him, I can't do anything pretty much. I can't listen to him. I can't believe him. I can't, yeah. That's probably like the number one thing mm -hmm. that I'm fearful of. Because I'm very honest too. Mm -hmm. So if I'm being honest, then you know all my secrets and I don't know anything, then it's like, yeah. yeah. You? That's a big thing. <laughs> ah, what am I fearful of in a relationship? Uh, I guess I'd be, I'm fearful of like, just the, it's kind of like a, like just to be fearful of like, just the problems that arise in relationships. Because when you're with someone that like, you care about, and then sparks start flying, it's just like, a really shitty feeling and like mm. fighting with someone that you care about sucks and like having falling out and all like breakups like <laughs> I'm afraid like afraid of all the shitty parts of relationships mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is like dumb but um, I also understand that there's like importance to those and like you grow from that and that's huge but it's just I, I just I hate it yeah. I, I dishonesty I think is huge but it's not something that like I mean definitely it would weigh on me if that was an issue. I haven't had to really deal with that in my relationships, but like, 
I don't know. It's hard. I guess I, guess I can't really talk about that because I haven't really dealt with it. But mm-hmm. it would be, it would be big, and especially when I'm like looking for people that are like, you know, that I can like really relate to and like be best buds with. When you start fighting, it's it's a mess. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. You lose like a best friend, and it's like horrible. Yeah. I understand. What would your last partner warn me about you if we were to be in a relationship? (laughs) I can handle anything. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) um, So my last partner would probably tell you that I'm horrible at communicating Mm. with in terms of like how I'm feeling and like my emotions um we had a like a big issue where like she was very sensitive and like so in touch with her feelings and I was just like I don't know what I'm feeling I'm just kind of like going like I just go with it and it's like I go with it for too far and like it was an issue that we had so she's probably warning you about that and also probably warn you um about how incredibly obnoxious I can be in public. Uh-huh. She was always having to like tame you. Tame me. And, like, <laughs> don't like do that here. That's weird. Like just chill out. Uh-huh. Stuff like that. Uh-huh. Um. So yeah. So I'm. Yeah, those are probably two. Do two you things. feel like she was overreacting, or do you honestly feel like you're obnoxious sometimes? Oh, I'm obnoxious sometimes. Oh, okay. I'm definitely okay. obnoxious sometimes, okay. most of the time. Um, but, yeah, no, she was not overreacting. I don't think she was overreacting. <laughs> she was telling the truth about that one, no. yeah. <laughs> um, what about you? What about your past partners? What would they tell me? Um, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know. Well, probably the communication part as well. Mm. I'm... I'm expressive, but only if it's through an argument, if that makes any sense. Mm. If it's built up and I'm angry and I'm tired of it, then I'm just going to let him have it. Mm -hmm. But if it's just, you know, minor, I'll just, okay. And then it just builds up and builds up and Mm -hmm. then that's it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's something that they would warn you about <laughs> yeah. for sure <laughs> so it's like you kind of just like lit, like you just don't want the conflict you're like you know what just, yeah it's fine whatever and that ends up making them more upset yeah yeah, I'm, yeah I've, I've dealt with that yeah I'm the same kind of way like, <laughs> you win like I don't like yeah. I don't want to fight like I don't want to do this exactly <laughs> like, I'm, I'm afraid of the shitty parts of relationships I don't want to fight exactly so like yeah, yeah. uh you, you're go me yeah right <laughs> yeah, okay. What do you think I'm most critical of myself? What do you think I'm most critical of myself? Mm. Well, this is interesting. I'd say because, I'd say your emotions, number one, because that's the first thing that you said about what your ex would warn me about you. Mm. And... Because, you know, your emotions are your emotions, you kind of don't want to apologize for that, but you kind of just did. Mm-hmm. So I feel like you would you would be a better communicator, probably. Uh, yeah, that was the question, yeah. right? What do you think I'm most critical yeah. of myself? Yeah, is, it, is that true? Or like, not most critical, but yeah, it can... It's, it's not my most critical like thing, but it is definitely something that... I'm critical of. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I um, I got that. Yeah. Uh, it's also something that like I have. I don't really know how to like work on it. Really, it's something that's like kind of weird. I think you just have to like talk. Yeah. 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 Just talk. Just talk about my feelings. Yeah. It, just, it's <laughs> as weird and as cliche as it sounds. You you really have to just tell people how you feel mm. because if they don't know, then. How do you expect them to treat you a certain yeah. way or feel a certain way or, mm-hmm. you know, feel close? Yeah. 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 Kind of learn that the hard way. 
yeah. no, I mean, I did I'm not a master, but yeah, yeah I kind of learned that. Just slowly picking up on it. Yeah. It's not fast enough. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get it. You'll get <laughs> it. Takes some time. You'll get it. Um, cool. Me? You? Yeah. Or you could throw that question or whatever. Uh, what am I most critical of? I'm a little bit hard on myself, for sure. Yeah. Um, I feel like I should be somewhere in life already and I'm not there. I mean, I'm sure everybody feels that yeah. way, mm -hmm. but I'm just, sometimes it can cause me to be a little unhappy mm -hmm. and, yeah. uh, you know, just a little, I think unhappy. Let's just mm -hmm. keep the word out unhappy because... I just want to be somewhere else or yeah. I feel like I'm I'm wagging behind. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. How old are you? 21. 21? Yeah. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're we're like in that age where you should be doing adult things, but you're kind of yeah. not exactly. Yeah, it's a weird one. Though. Yeah, it's a weird it's a weird area. Some 21-year-olds so. are like running the world. Yeah. So yeah. So <laughs> and I'm just here. Some are just doing like blind dates. <laughs> exactly. Like, <laughs> exactly. Uh, no, I, t I feel the same way. Yeah. I definitely felt that way before. Uh, ready? Yeah. You. Okay. Up to you. Okay. This is so weird. What do you think I think is my sexiest quality? What do I think that you think, think is yours? Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's a hard one. What do yeah. I think that you, th what do I think that you think is your sexiest quality? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe just your confidence, maybe? Just because it's... Yeah? Yeah, you're right. Woo! You're really? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, just because you just have like... A vibe that you give out that's just like you're very comfortable with yourself yeah. and you're very like and I feel like that could be something that you can definitely use to embrace like sexuality and stuff and that's yeah. something that could be like huge for you know a lot of things yeah wow. I think that's you hit the nail I can't believe on I the got head that. I'm feeling like woo. yeah I just <laughs> personally I feel like because some, day, some days I don't feel like you know, the prettiest person in the world or whatever, but I feel like if you have confidence, it doesn't really matter because that's gonna have, you know, the longevity. Yeah. That is like you, like, you're in your, you know, your body, your flesh suit is you. Like, you yeah. can't really change it. So yeah. it's like, you know, just be you. Yeah. And just be happy be with yourself. <laughs> Yeah. Be yourself. Talk about your feelings. Like we're getting the whole like, <laughs> we're learning. cliche list. We're like, learning done. everything today. <laughs> um. So let's say to you. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Is, what do you think? I th I'm not gonna even read that again. I think, it's like a, <laughs> what do I think? <laughs> you think is your sexiest quality? Hmm. <laughs> I'd say. Maybe your humor, because I'm starting to see that come oh. out a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But I'm starting to see that come out, and that's, you know, something that attracts mm -hmm. people to people. Humor. Mm -hmm. If you make them laugh, or if you crack a joke here and there. Um, from what I heard from you, it can go to obnoxious probably <laughs> yeah. but as far as i'm concerned that's probably you know just humor going uh -huh. into obnoxiousness yeah that's pretty because I, I just realized i don't know if i ever really like thought about what i think is my sexiest yeah. like, quality yeah it's my thighs but what do you what do you do when you pick up girls like do you crack don't jokes pick up girls. you don't pick up girls <laughs> not really no really um okay when you like a girl what's the first thing that you're gonna do make her laugh or no? Yeah, yeah. That would be the, yeah. Yeah. Probably, yeah. It's kind of like how I can like establish if I'm comfortable with them like right off the bat. If I can do something weird or funny and they're like about it. Yeah. Snaps, yeah. Points. Um, yeah, so I guess my humor, yeah, that's, 
It's weird that like you knew that before I did. Like, you pull it out like We're that. learning. <laughs> it's just a learning experience. Yeah, this is wow. <laughs> um, cool. Your go, Mike. Yeah, I asked that question right. first. Okay. Um, interesting. So, if you had a son, what advice would you give him regarding girls slash women? Wow. Let's get deep. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the number one thing I would, is it warn the advice I would give him? The advice you would give him, yeah. Always treat them with respect. Mm -hmm. Not because I've, you know, I haven't been treated with respect, but if you respect a woman, she will see that. Mm -hmm. Regardless if nice guys finish last, if you treat her right, she'll see that. And if she doesn't decide to acknowledge it or uh, appreciate it, that's pro- that's fine. That's her problem. Mm-hmm. But she can never say to you, "Oh, you oh you treated me wrong. You were never you know uh, good to me." Mm. I would I would hate for someone to tell my son, "You were never good to me," or "You're not a good man," yeah. because you don't treat me with respect. Mm-hmm. So yeah, definitely always respect women. And from like. Just being nice and holding doors to, you know, carrying strollers down the steps. Just mm-hmm. just be respectful. Yeah. Because he's going to have to do it for me. So yeah. Gonna to, <laughs> yeah. What would you warn him about women? What's something that you would, like, try oh. to preface his love life with? Uh, women are just as bad as men. We're just a little bit uh, smoother <laughs> when it comes to uh, certain characteristics, mm. but women are just as bad. Just as bad in terms of what? Uh, in relationships. I mean, women cheat. Mm. I, I hate mm. when women say, like, I don't cheat or I don't do this or I'm mm. a woman, I don't do that. Everybody's mm. n- Everybody's not the same, but... Women are just the same as men. Mm -hmm. It happens. Things happen. Uh, Yeah, so don't ever... I would tell my son, don't ever let a woman tell you, I'm not going to do that because, Mm -hmm. you know, I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. Because it's not true. (laughs) Cool. Yeah. All right. If you had a daughter, what advice would you give her regarding boys slash men? <laughs> that's a weird, that's a scary thought, having a daughter. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> stay away from men. Um, <laughs> the advice I would give to her, I would want her, oof. Um, this is a tough one. I would probably tell my tell my daughter to like not be afraid to, to stand up to, to men in any sense. Not to be like to not to be confident enough where she wouldn't be taken advantage of, and to also be like stern enough to not really. Um, feel like she like feel like she's like a bitch or anything. I, I would want her to like I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I want her to be like bold enough to like not really care about what guys think. Mm-hmm. And not in like a weird sense, but just like I don't know. Do you feel like men mold how females feel about themselves? Is that what you Or do you just want her to not take shit from a man? (laughs) It's more like I don't want her to take shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I want you to be like, do you, be cool, don't like worry about like shitty guys and stuff like that. And and, you know, the if if like guys weren't like the center of her life and she wasn't like crazy, like because I know there are some girls that just get like so obsessed with relationships and guys and I just think 
<laughs> she just didn't date and she just yeah. like lived in the house forever. Yeah. But like, I, it's, it's hard to articulate. I don't really know. I, I still don't really know what I'm saying. But mm. um, I think I understand. Yeah. I think I think I understand. Um. Yeah. One thing my mom always taught me because I wasn't raised by my dad. Mm-hmm. But she always taught me that they'll always be there. So that's important. Mm, yeah. Because that's true. They'll always be there. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they're there and you don't even want them there. So it's like, yeah, just focus on what you have to do and, mm-hmm. and live your life and, and make yourself happy first, love yourself. Yeah. And then, you know. Yeah. Whatever I guess kind of what I was thinking was like along the lines of not forming her identity around like, wanting to attract guys or like be like be like attractive for guys and like I want I want her to be herself mm-hmm. and like to to just not worry about it yeah. and to not just like I just to stay away from the slimy dudes <laughs> just don't like the, to stay away from the shitty ones yeah, it's yeah. like <laughs> yeah there are good guys out there yeah of course but there are also really shitty guys yeah and uh no, none of those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know, at the same time, it's like a learning, it's a growth thing. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it will have to happen. Yeah. But I mean, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. So. Your turn. My turn. Yeah. Whew. Okay, so what would your family warn me about if we were going to date? Oh. Uh, I like to get my way, but I'm learning that that doesn't work all the time. But I'm sure that they'll tell you that, yeah. <laughs> that I'm like, that I like to get my way. Were you a single child? No. I, my sister and I are 10 years apart. Oh, wow, okay. So technically I'm not, but maybe, kind of, sort of, yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm my mom's youngest mm. and my dad's oldest. So I kind of mm. get spoiled by them. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I don't know. You can see that. I'm the opposite. But, yeah. I'm like hardcore middle child. Really? Mm-hmm. Do you have like middle child syndrome? Do you feel like you do or no? I, like what, like what, I, what is really middle child syndrome? I, like, I don't know. I would not know. I love, I don't know, I love being the middle child, honestly. Really? Well, because I kind of like, um, I kind of just like, like just cruised, like through, like my sister had to deal with all of the, she's my older sister, I have an older sister and a younger brother. Um, sister had to deal with all the like, the like breaking down the barriers of like, can I get a later curfew? Um, you know, uh, when am I allowed to do this stuff? And then by the time like, she kind of like worked my parents in. So then when I was like, oh, I got a cell phone in eighth grade instead of high school. Like, mm-hmm. ooh, like I can have a little later curfew. Yeah. Um, and then like my brother was just like always. Free. Free. Yeah. Free from that stuff, but causing troubles, being the youngest, just being a little rowdy, little rambunctious yeah. kid. So um, I love just like, I'm like, I'm just like in the middle. Yeah. It was, I don't know. I like it. And you're a guy too. I feel like it's mm. different for guys and girls because my, mm. my mom, she would not let me do anything uh my sister is older than well i said that Mm -hmm. but i think she caused so much trouble that my mom was scared that i would do the same thing Uh, so i just got like locked down extra so with your mom you're the youngest right yeah from my mom and my dad has two other kids after well that makes sense because i think the older how the older sibling acts is everything really Mm -hmm. my sister was like you know pretty well behaved good like well, like I said, worked in the parents so that I could have a little more like room. But if yeah. she like was a, like a wreck, yeah, would have locked yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I could totally see that. <laughs> if we had a relationship, what do you see me doing that would end it? Something that <laughs> I would funny. see you doing to end our relationship. <laughs> Um, I don't know. You, I kind of feel like you might just like 
get over me, like get sick of me. I feel like I feel like I could maybe wear you down, and like <laughs> you kind of like I kind of get the sense that like there could be like come to a time where you're just like you know, like this. Like this All right, a that's lot. enough. Like, just get out of here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's not that you can wear me down, or it's not that I lose interest fast, but I don't know. I feel like you're more mature than I am. I don't think so. No? Yeah, th- this, this is a good front. This the, is yeah. a good front. <laughs> the wall's up. <laughs> Blind date, I'm yeah. in business. But no, I don't I don't think that um uh I I don't no, I wouldn't say that because then I then I sound like the type of person like to give up easy, and I'm not that kind of person. And if that's the yeah. case, I wouldn't be in a relationship with someone. Mm-hmm. Uh, so maybe. Yeah, I didn't mean it in like that sense. I just I don't know what I meant to. What do you think I would do to end, like to end? If we had a relationship, what do you see me doing that would end it? Not communicating. Ooh. Because I'm working on mine. Because you're on your way up and I'm still on the <laughs> ground floor. Yeah. No, I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> but, um, no, it's... Uh, yeah, I'm, I, that's something that I'm working on. So mm. I feel like if I'm working towards it and you're not helping me work towards it mm. or yeah. we're not working together, then that'll definitely yeah, yeah have that's, me just yeah. like... Especially if we're both at that like weird spot where we working on it yeah yeah yeah, that's yeah, yeah 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 you're i like your answer better i, like your answer better. <laughs> I answered it for both of us yeah <laughs> um <laughs> oh boy all right so choose five words to describe what you think having sex would be like with me oh what <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Five words. Well, we're 21, so we can just go for it. <laughs> um, fun. Uh, different. Hmm. Uh, what's the word? Uh, 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 let's throw in exciting in exciting. there. Exciting. Exciting. Okay. Um, uh, what's the word? Uh, awesome. That too. <laughs> so that's your word. That's your word. Um, <laughs> Where are you at? You have three? I have three already. What was it? Two. I have to make these last two good Fun, ones. Fun, different, exciting. exciting. Um, wow, this is hard. Mm. This is really Five hard. Is Five is a lot. A lot. Uh, oh, this is getting weird. Um, <laughs> what else? What else? What else? I'm trying to think of like different words than like awesome and yeah, exciting like, <laughs> and just uh, just you know sex descriptive words. I can't, yeah. I can't have a couple. I'd say new. 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 Mm-hmm. For sure. Uh, one. One more. One more. One more. This is so weird. Uh, Probably, I want to say adventurous too. Hmm. I would say adventurous. I mean, those all kind of sound alike to me, but I thought of things and then words came to my head, like the yeah. first word. So yeah, fun, different, new, mm-hmm. exciting, and adventurous. That's pretty. I'm- you, you'll you'll take, take that. that. That's okay. pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty. That's great. Good, I love good, that. Good, 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 good. Adventurous. What does adventurous invoke? Like? I'd say adventurous because you seem like the kind of guy to say, "Look, nobody's here. Let's do what we need to do." I mean, I don't know. That's what I get from you. It could be 
It could be yes, it could like, be. Let's no. dress up but, like horses and like. Well, I don't know about horses, <laughs> but um, I could see just you know going out on a whim and just you know being yeah. adventurous. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty accurate. Yeah, you don't seem like too reserved. Well, you're not reserved, so that's mm. why I'd say like adventurous mm. and exciting, and also new. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Why would you say different? Because uh, I've never been with anyone outside of my race. Oh. Yeah. I mean, not that it yeah. should be different, but it, it would be different for it's me. It's different, yeah. Yeah, it's I'm, just yeah. different. I'm the same way. Yeah. So it definitely would be different. Yeah, for sure. I think cool. new and different were the same, but... Yeah, but, you know, you had to do five. That's a lot. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you those. <laughs> that was weird. Um, all right. My turn. Your cards. Oh, why do you think I'm single? <laughs> I think that you're single. Be I kinda, nice. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that you're single right now because y- it seems like you have like dealt with some shit before. And like it seems like you've gone through some crap and you're kind of at the point in your life where you're trying to figure out where you're going. You're yeah. trying to figure out, because you feel like you're lagging behind. You're like, I gotta like, what's going on with me? I feel like there's just, priorities are different. It seems like you just have like a lot going on and yeah. you're trying to do that and it's not like, you know, I need to be in a relationship. Yeah, it's like, you're so right. <laughs> Second time, like you, you got it. Got it? That's it. Whew. Next question. Done, Next boom, question. boom, boom, <laughs> I'm killing these. So what do you think is my best and worst quality when it comes to relationship? And you can't use the communication, communication as word. A I was going to. Nope. Pick a new one. Um so best I'd say you you have like a sense of comfort. Hmm. So I feel comfortable with you. Um so you know, I'm sure I'd feel comfortable telling you anything mm-hmm. or expressing anything to you mm. um, regardless of whether or not you listen or respond or whatever uh, worse hmm. maybe you'll just decide one day like maybe I don't need to do this maybe I need to focus on me uh, and maybe this relationship thing isn't what I want right now, what I'm ready for, because you need to work on things that you need to work on. For example, communication. <laughs> that's, uh, like the, that's like the word of the day. That's the buzzword of yeah. the day. Um, yeah, that was, that, was pretty, that was pretty accurate. That was um, the kind of thing that ended my last relationship was I was just like, felt unsettled. I was like, I'm so young and I was only in really one serious relationship. Um, I was in a couple, but like one that lasted for like three years from high school to college. And it was just like a very serious, like great relationship. But I was just like, I'm so young and like, it kind of scares me that I'm like not experiencing other people. And yeah, it was just kind of like, I got to work on me. Yeah. That was, a, that was a huge thing. And yeah, you nailed that one on the head. Yeah. You got it. You killed it. Uh, this is amazing. What are you looking to learn in your next relationship? What am I looking to learn? Well, I think that I, I don't really have anything I'm looking at. No, it's not that I... I know I will learn from it, and so any relationship that is new, I'm kind of like, what am I going to learn from this? It's not like I'm going into it being like, you know, I'm, I want to learn how to like talk to different people or like, how like or like how to be a better kisser or something like that. It's just like, each thing is like its own little experience, and I'm kind of like excited to see what's going to come out of it. I don't know mm-hmm. if I really have anything that I'm looking to learn. Mm-hmm. Maybe more communication skills, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. but. Honestly, it's like a very, I feel like if you went into a relationship being like, I'm looking for this, um, or I'm looking to get this out of this, it would like 
squish it and like step on it and make it unnatural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh What so okay, so let me tweak it a little bit. What are you okay. looking to learn how to do better? What am I looking to learn how to do better? Besides communicating. <laughs> um Uh, there was a couple issues I had with honesty, so I think definitely that could definitely be a bigger thing to work on, uh, which kind of like kind of goes in hand with communication. It wasn't so much like I was lying; it was more like just omitting things, the and truth, just not yeah. talking about everything. Yeah. You know, it's just like not talking about everything, not you know divulging everything. Um, so that you know, I think that would be something. I would try to work on. Right. Okay. What about you? Uh, yikes. How to be patient. Uh, I expect things to go the way they're supposed to go sometimes, especially like if I'm mm. in a relationship because it's someone else too. Mm -hmm. It's not just me. Yeah. I would want them to be just as happy as I am. Um, but I think I would have to understand that, you know, I would have to be patient with the person and grow with them and uh, experience things with them and just, uh, yeah, be, yeah. just take it easy. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> cool. No, cool, cool. Um, so I'm out of cards, but I do have a question. Yeah. Um, do you think of that if you saw me at a bar, you would approach me? I wouldn't approach you, but I would probably smile. You know what I no, would I do? <sighs> Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Cross the bar. If, right. if you were doing something or if you... Hmm, it's kind of hard because it's a bar. Mm, it's not yeah. like we're at a conference or Starbucks <laughs> or something. It's a bar. But I, I probably would smile. I don't approach guys at all. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, it mm -hmm. would kind of be hard too anyways. Yeah. But I would definitely like smile at you and, you know, if you mm. were next to me while I was getting a drink, I'd probably say, hey. Or something like that, but yeah. yeah, but I wouldn't like come up to you and say, "Hi, my name is Kelsey. What's yeah. your name?" Yeah, that's yeah, scary. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's. I mean, I, that, I kind of. I'm also not the kind of guy to just like walk up and be like, "Hey." Let's <laughs> talk. I'm not like that's not really my thing. But um, how would you react if I like came if I approached you? I would talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. What's, I'm. I'm cool. Like I'm not. <laughs> especially if I'm intoxicated. Like yeah. I'm having a good time. There's nothing yeah. wrong with like anybody coming up to me and having a good conversation mm -hmm. um you know especially if we're in a bar and yeah. my song is playing and we my start dancing yeah, what's the jam song is on. i don't know there's a ton there's a bunch there's a lot a, of jams there's a ton. um so what about because i know you, you brought up earlier the difference of like race and stuff uh -huh. would it be intimidating for me to approach you being like never been with you know a white guy or whatever no nope. it wouldn't be intimidating nope. It's just different. It's just different. Yeah, yeah it's just different. I'm cool. not like that at all. Mm -hmm. um, it's just different. All right. My question, my last question. Last card. Wow. Do you feel chemistry? Ooh, do I feel chemistry? That was a good last one. It's a good, good like, wrap-up question. Yeah, yeah. I, I do. I feel like we are both very comfortable with each other. Yeah. I feel like we could talk pretty easily with each other yeah and I think those are definitely like there has to be something some chemistry if like for us to have such a fluid conversation I yeah like. um what do you think I think so for sure yeah, yeah not, that that you can just look at me and see or feel certain things about me and it's the actual truth that's kind of scaring me I usually can't like that's I have a bad like ability to judge things really so, like, that's kind of like yeah Weird me yeah, out I mean, I'm a good people reader, but yeah, for you to read me, it's just 
super weird because yeah. I'm really like. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, I feel that was that was an easy last question. <laughs> Give us more. <laughs> um. Do you have any more questions? I don't know. You had a good one. The bar question the bar was one. a good one. Yeah, yeah it was a good that one. was good. Um. That's it. That's it. All right. Well, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. <laughs> Hi, Miriam here, producer and director at The Skin Deep. Thank you so much for watching this video. So if you want to have a similar experience at home, we designed this amazing card games where we take the best of our questions and it's in a box and it's a game that you can ask questions to each other. So if you want to check it out, you can visit our website at theskindeep.com slash shop.